frontier. This is Football Daft with Stephen Purden. Midfield dynamo and average actor. Chris Toll. Target man. Suspicious character. And... Merry Christmas and welcome along to a very festive edition of Football Daft. And when I say festive, it's not really festive at all. Uh, basically, Grado, Stephen and Chris couldn't be arsed recording anything, so it's me, producer John, giving you a little intro as we play back the best bits of banter from across the year. And what a brilliant year we've had on Football Daft. Great guests, some great banter. So over the next couple of weeks, we thought we'd give you the best bits of those, basically because we're on holiday and none of us can be arsed to come in and record a podcast. Um, anyway, let's crack on with the best bits of banter from the year. And Chris was a little bit like Nostradamus for this one. And imagine... Celtic get nine in a row and there's no fans there to celebrate it. Imagine yeah, Liverpool win the league for the first time in 30 odd years and there's no fans there to celebrate it. Did you it. see, you know what I like this week, Klopp mm. uh, getting asked about coronavirus yes. and he went, look, what the fuck, he didn't ask me. He goes, I'm a football manager. I, I just care about as much as coronavirus as you. You know right. what I mean? What are you asking me these questions? It's right, and it? It's just journalists want to... Why, why, is I, us, why is us three chumps sitting talking about it? I, they, asked, they asked Stephen Gerrard about it and he's like, yeah, we've been keeping tabs on him, you know. That was, we, we think he's a great striker. Um, <laughs> I really hope that we can maybe make moves and bring him in the summer. These are a pair of wankers, man. Somebody actually pointed out to me, he, he sent me the stats between Scott Sinclair and Brian Lauder. Mm-hmm. And Scott Sinclair's stats for his time in Scottish football right. for about the same length of time. Obviously, mm-hmm. it's not the same era. Mm-hmm. Lloydrop's playing against better. Right. Is Lloydrop playing against better players, actually? You say like we're shite back in the day, <sighs> weren't they? Was Tommy Burns not the manager when Brian Lloydrop was there? Did you not have a good team then? Did you not have like, a, George Cadet, you know, Pierre Van Hoydonk, De Canio? I bet. Are they no good players? He was playing against Rico and right, Ronnie and right, Josh so, McKinley. He's a break. Right, so on Football Daft this week, well, on Football Daft last week, uh, Chris Toll tried to put Scott Sinclair in his dream team, forgot about Nakamura, and now this week, Chris Toll's trying to tell me that Scott Sinclair's a better fucking player than I Brian Lowry. Wait a fucking minute. Absolutely wait. fucking grinding my wait. gears with this Scott Sinclair. Are you good minute, pals boy. with Scott Sinclair or something? Listen, see if I was good pals with Let's Scott Sinclair. Let's see your contacts and your phone, and you always talk to him on the phone or something. He's not, he's not the most famous person. I've got on my phone but he's, <laughs> he's close he's, he's close Producer to Producer Johnny a fucking diva in this fucking studio now come on Listen, I, I feel like you, <laughs> do, do, do you remember that Walter Smith and Archie Knox interview with Chick Young Aye. that's what I feel you try to tell me Scott Are Sinclair's a better fucking player than Brian Lauder no listen at no point did I say it Scott Sinclair you were hinting at it no I said his stats were better than no. Brian Lauder Aye, with a smile on your face because his stats were better than Brian Lauder Scott Sinclair was playing he, he, mate what? you can't compare the quality of football when Lauder was at Rangers even like Celtic the quality mm-hmm. of player then squads was right. by far better than what it is now Nah, Come on, Scottish football. Scottish was football better. was getting money pumped into it left, right, and centre. Remember Sky, Sky used to Sky. use money. Exactly, Remember? exactly. Arseholes. Right, so just for the record, Loudrop's a far superior player than Scott Sinclair, right? Yeah, no. He still can't admit it. Not, not according to the stats, Stephen. Yeah. We'll just we'll say it that way, all right, pal. I took a shot at the missus motor the other day, right? <laughs> Driving down. Tell Moz dropping stuff off, supplies for a man or that. Sun was in my eyes, pulled the visor down. A fucking photo of Edward, number 22. Fucking French Eddie. What? I know. Graham, are you disappointed in Nicola here? What did she do? She went she, she, she put a picture of Edward underneath your, your sun visor. I, I took her motor for a change, so I'm driving her motor. The sun's in my eyes, driving down to drop stuff off at a moz. Pull the visor down where I'm driving. Fucking French Eddie staring at me. You're joking. She's what? She, did she do that to bam you up or did she into him? I think she wants you to be in She's fucking sitting right here. Ask her the new. Nicola, are you into French Eddie? Why are you going all red? <laughs> you look like a strawberry. It's going to be a domestic happening here, eh? <laughs> tell, tell them your story. Look what you did. You wife's upset. <laughs> now look what you got and done. Bogues upset. She didn't know who it was. <laughs> right, mate, do you want to know the truth? That's a fucking trolling and a half, mate. Do I know the truth? Aye. 
We took, I won't name the garage. We took the motor to a garage because she had to get her washers fixed. Mm -hmm. The boys have took the motor in. Aye, they, I they, was they, where? Oh, aye. <laughs> yeah. A few guys on Twitter replied about a certain garage and all that shit. Somebody that works at a garage. I've been bammed up by your lot, too. <laughs> yeah. It can happen, mate. Do you know what this is? You give the results in 72 hours. Do you come when I got the results? On the fucking 69 floor. I've been shut myself all weekend, sitting myself, fucking sweating gravy, but the, the results are back. I'm negative. But you were one of the lucky ones, game. What? You were one of the lucky ones, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Touch wood. To, to be fair, Buck Grado, that's probably the only time you've had a swab and it has come back negative. <laughs> <laughs> More chat on the way, but first, got to say thanks to our sponsors who have been with us throughout the year, G4 Claims. Remember, if you've been in the road traffic accident and you're not at fault, they can make it easy for you. They provide complete accident management support you require. They will cover the costs from the at-fault party and sort out like-for-like -like vehicle replacements if you've been in a road traffic accident. They'll also organise a vehicle to be repaired on their approved body shop and return to you. And if it's deemed a write-off, they'll recover the pre-accident value of your car and write a big fat check. And it won't cost you a penny as they charge the at fault insurance direct. Uh, they don't call, call G4 claims. They don't buy data. And once they process your claim, your insurance will remain unscathed. So get on to Nicole and the team over at G4 Claims. They're a great bunch over there, supporting the podcast throughout the year. Um, and you can do that by hitting them up on 01698 767 172, 01698 767 172, or get them on social media at G4 Claims Limited, or their website, notatfaultclaim.com. That's G4 Claims, of course, not at fault claims, made easy. And talking of G4 Claims, here's Jim from G4 Claims. So basically, Jim's come on the show. He We did a script every week. Sometimes it can be phoned in, sometimes it can be full of energy, but this week it's going to be definitely the best because we're sharing fucking company in it. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go then. Right. <laughs> Right, if you've been involved in a road traffic accident, it's not your fault. Call G4 Claims, they make it easy for you. They can provide a complete accident management support you require. They'll recover the cost from the at-fault insurance party. Sort out a like-for-like -like replacement vehicle. They'll also organise and get your car repaired at one of our approved body shops and return to you should your vehicle be deemed a write-off. They will recover the pre-accident value of your car and write you a big fat check. <laughs> He's gone. He's away. He's gone. Jim! Jim! He's getting right under that thing! Jim! 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 He's still there! Jim. He's still there! Did he even the road? <laughs> oh, there he is! It cut oh, off! Where did you go? It cut off! Oh, oh fuck sorry! Shit, Jim. Sorry, Mike! Nicky, that's it! This is fucking. Somebody cool. tried to throw me an accent there! <laughs> <laughs> I've just missed a claim! <laughs> The rules are that you can get on any cult footballer from any club ever, right? Right. But the point system's going to be different, okay? The listeners are going to decide how good the guest is. Right. So if, once we've got them yeah, on... You, you can't do that, man, because if, if the listeners say the guest's shite, then the guest's well, going to be like, ah, ah. That's the rules. So, basically... Right, the, I've got it. The listener comes on, and then yeah, out of boy. five, the listeners will rate how guest, good the guest was, and then those points will be awarded on the next show. Great. So, is that right, all? Okay. Yeah, That's better. Oh, wait a minute. All the Rangers supporters <laughs> are going to say that my guest is right. And all it, no, but all the Celtic supporters are going to say that the two boys... Who says the cult heroes need... No. Hey. No, he doesn't have to be hey. Rangers or Celtic. We've had just Jamie hey. Mitchell on there, who's been quite Partick this We had Ross Hamilton from Steny and Alwa last week. No, that's not the point I'm making. What I'm saying is the Celtic supporters are going to side with me and the Rangers supporters are going to side with me. Yeah, right. it's a right. fucking game on a podcast. You're not losing money, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you know me a fucking right. idiot again. I'll take the job clean off you, you fucking dick. All right? Hey, Grado, it's only you next week, big chat. <laughs> Grado, you're up first. <laughs> well, like we're getting battered off too. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there raging there, I can tell. 
Uy, uy, ¿qué? Oh, it's my first feeling, but sorry, it's brand new. Keep it, keep it noise down. The dogs are there, uh, sorry, we're brand new. Keep going. <laughs> you know, the pure funny man, if he walked behind you, man, pure ball naked, got to get his lunch and all that. Who's <laughs> that guy? She be always well, plays her. What a kind of funny thing is. <laughs> she calls him in lockdown. She calls him in lockdown. Sometimes I've had to wear his breeks, his pants. That's <laughs> <laughs> like that episode of Three Doors Down. Yeah, two doors down, mate. Three doors down? <laughs> three doors down, mate. How can you get that wrong? Sorry, man. That, is there no a band called Three Doors Down? Yeah. Sorry. Bro, that's... Oh, I don't know. Toe, toe. Toe, that's just another dead girl grade, wasn't it? <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Mate, he's being passive-aggressive with you now, mate. We did. <laughs> that's what I'm about for that fucking Three Doors Down. We were playing their grade on at the telly broke just after Scotch squad. <laughs> I just want to say obviously lockdowns affecting a lot of people um, and obviously people are suffering and it's gone to their head and stuff like that and it really isn't funny but um, I do think it really has affected Chris Toll um, at 2100 hours um, when was it Tuesday or Wednesday would it we, me Bob and John received this message from Toll so we were just a wee bit worried about you after you sent this message I've just been told Rangers are in talks with Tommy Wright. <coughs> Tommy Wright, aren't he? The man is fucking Rangers. It's probably a lot of shit, obviously. Me, you get all these fucking messages and stuff all the time, but I don't know. Is that maybe are you hearing something about Gerard that you're not letting on? There you go. That's a football <laughs> daft exclusive. Tommy Wright is coming to Rangers according to Crystal. Right, right well, I, I'm going to take two things for us, right? The first thing is, I was only passing all the information that I'd been given. Right. And the second thing is, I can't put anything in the group chat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what about for Marvin Gale? <laughs> Marvin Gale. He didn't even get, did he, did he even come on? Mar- Marvin, Marvin Gale's not a person, mate. Marcus Gale. Oh, Marcus Gale. Marvin, you're thinking Marvin Gale, the, the singer. <laughs> You heard it through the grapevine, money, money. What's going on? What's going yeah. on? When, see when Marcus Gale was getting ready to uh, enter the pitch as a sub, Jim Walter Smith went like, let's get him on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he went because it was Arvika that was the manager at the time. I don't know, you fucking <laughs> Boys, I've got to tell you this story. You know, he's talking about what he's been up to. Everybody's been, right. everybody's been doing a quiz, haven't they? Oh, I've not- Aye. Everybody, Every I'm going to zoom a fucking enough. Oh, everybody loves a quiz, right? So when you're doing it with the boys, you know, I don't know what your quizzes are like, but when you do it with the lads, you put something on your Zoom background, you put a stupid picture, you know, whether it's, I don't know, the, the Gara Paul Bearers or... The football you know, daft logo. Whatever you want to do, or the football daft logo, whatever you want to do. So we're, we're doing the quiz with the boys. In fact, and then uh, one of the boys had put an obscene picture behind them right so next time um, they're using the zoom his, his wife goes on to use his zoom account right it's her work oh, man. not only was she using her, his, her zoom account she was having because uh, uh, you can't have a kids party at the moment right you know oh, they're doing these uh, princess parties you're so <laughs> my mates wife's went on to zoom opened up for this princess party that she was hosting, you know, you've got Elsa there, you've got Anna there, you know, there's ready to sing songs. Is it big man? 25 wanes, 25 wanes on Zoom, ready to go. He hears from downstairs, Stephen! Stephen! <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? Run, runs upstairs, there's her on this princess party. With a, you, have you ever seen the picture of the massive cock in the shoe? Oh, I can not. just imagine sitting behind him with Elsa and Anna. He's like, oh. So, oh. I'm affronted. I've got nothing else to say. <laughs> apologise to the fans. Apologise to the fans. It's probably it's true to John's unprofessionalism for letting other segments go long. Oh, right, right, that's, it. that's it, Grado. What? Oh. But the gloves are just about to come off. Now, yeah. let's just tell a story to Chris and Stephen. No, John. you don't need to say nothing. Uh, don't yes, you open your mouth. Yes, don't you, you open your mouth, John. Do it, do it. 
do it. He's the one that started this. Let it be known what Greedo just said on tape about me being unprofessional. Now, here's the real story, okay, boys? <laughs> right, go, shit. Sure. what happened. Right, go. So, I messaged Greedo yesterday saying, have you got someone for the Legends Lottery yet? What do you think? Very little reply, but he said, no, I don't actually. I said, don't worry, mate. I'll get you back. And I sorted out his legend for him. Oh, Wait you a are... minute, dear. Hold oh. on. Hold on. That fucking grass. Hey, do you started this by saying, producer John will have my back here. Then you started getting on and on. You went, do you know what? It's all down to producer John's unprofessionalism. So you didn't, you didn't even bother to get a finger out your ass and get a legend's lottery. Poor John had to go and get it for you. Stevie, I think you're 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 uh, focusing on the wrong thing here. What? What? They two are conspiring behind our back. <laughs> John, you're a rat. That's right, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Chris are fucking what their ass off getting guests on. Jerry, no Stevie, Stevie Smith, used two scumbags. No Chris, comment. Mom, Chris, Mum will start a rain podcast. Fuck you two. Soccer crazy. <laughs> 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 Football no, stupid. <laughs> I know that Grado's been doing quite a lot during lockdown, man. Because I disturbed him one night and he was sitting with his missus. And I gave him a wee shout, man. I can't remember what it was about, but I sent him a voice note going, mate, I need to speak to you and all that. He's like, oh, fuck's sake, man. He's sitting eating, eating custard creams and watching repeats of High Road. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just at the Sunday STV. You can watch High Road. I was fucking watching it. Hey, hey, <laughs> And it was the funniest thing about it was he was genuinely annoyed. He's like, oh, "Fuck, it. Stephanie, go, 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 pause that high road and fuck's sake, why is it, Bob?" <laughs> mate, some of the episodes are good, mate. How far in have you, Gradle? Second series, second season. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> is Andrew Darrock still on it? And I am Darrock. Mrs. Max just come on. She's it's on Sneddon, it. David Snedden, he's got a shotgun. <laughs> Remember in fucking Isabel in the shop? Aye. Mm -hmm. Chick Cherry. Chick Cherry. What's it owns on Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have more best bits in a minute, but first, here's Grado with a message from Harry's. I tell you what, I hate shaving. However, if I do have Harry's on me, Harry's gear, then I'm right up for shaving because it is the best shaving company, the best accessories. The closeness is superb. It's so smooth, comfortable glide. And I'm telling you, that shaving gel smells the bomb. It is tremendous. Harry's is the number one shaving. And I'll tell you about the Harry story, right? Jeff and Andy, two ordinary guys, just like us, right, were fed up by overpriced razors, started Harry's to fix shaving. Harry's knew there was only one way to ensure quality, so they bought their own factory. By taking less profit, Harry's offers great quality products for a fair price. Their amazing quality blades are almost half the price of the leading five blade brands. Harry's trial set includes everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. It's weighted ergonomic handle. It's five precision engineered blades with a lubricating strip and trimmer blade and the rich lathering shave gel. And also, if you like to travel around, you've got the travel blade cover. I want you lot to get started shaving with Harry's today by claiming your trial set for a whopping only £3.95. <laughs> Support your local podcast now and get your trial set delivered to you. And that includes a razor handle, five blade cartridge, foaming shaving gel and the travel blade cover. All you need to do is go to harrys.com forward slash daft right now. That's harrys.com slash daft. And now back to the best bits. Cool, a like YouTuber look. Look at my chair. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah. well, no, I've just uh, I've had that in here for years, but I never use it. But I've been watching a lot of YouTube and all that. And the day you notice I've got the mic out of picture, and I'm swinging about. Hi guys, it's me, it's Grado here at Football Dar. She's oh, fuck. Mitch who put a line in What the fuck is a line in What? What was that, Grado? Is that Mitch who womanizer? I don't, Grado's got like a pure underground 
an underground version, man, of a Mixu song. It's, it's TikTok. I don't know how he's still contracted at Celtic. This is gro- gross, gross, gross misconduct and endangering the health and well-being of everybody involved in Scottish football. The guy should be shot out a fucking cannon. So, see, see if you bumped into a big ball in the new. Aye. Would you take your jaw clean off him? <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know, mate. He's a bit of a unit, and he? I think he'd fuck me right up. <laughs> you try to say Gredo's not a unit? It's not that. I just wouldn't want to get within two metres of ball in goal in the new, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you put it out there to see if anybody else has been a mascot. And have you got a story? Any story for you? Oh, told I, you must have story, but I'm not, I'm not fucking telling you. How? Oh. Any time I mention it, a bit when I was away, and it's oh, no, oh, the fucking. <laughs> hell, <laughs> I didn't have a good man. That, you must so have that, a good story. Frank, want to know the story, right? I was meant to be the mascot for Celtic versus Borussia Dortmund in Germany. And, <laughs> you know what? Like, go and tell fuck for yourself. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Ken, it's just. It's no, again, it's not just a, a mascot, it's same thing in fucking Germany. Come on, that, that is quite bad if you know if you were all G'd up. No, I didn't, know, I, didn't know I, was, I didn't know I was going to be the mascot. My dad never told me, it was a surprise, but it got cancelled. What did he tell you when you were 30 no, or no, something like that? After, after the game, <laughs> I'm fucking sick, fed up for the sight of you, man, honest to God. I'm away home. I'm uh, away. Luckily, luckily I'm away home. Did he you then? When it, I sit you down when you're 30, Chris. I hug me in all that. Aye, look, this is, <laughs> honestly, it's been eating away at me for years. Aye, aye, aye. Get out. Tell me, say, Tom, back at my door. Tell me, listen, Chris, I, I've, 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 no, I've no stopped thinking about this since fucking 1994. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, man. You know the way Paul McStay Paul, Paul stay taking you in for a bag of seats? I tell you one better than that. You're supposed to be the mascot that night, son. Dad! No! No! <laughs> I had to tell you, Chris, I had to tell you! <laughs> Why could no. you not have just taken it no. with you? <laughs> Why it was you insurance you? purposes, Christopher! It was insurance purposes, it was not long after the operation! And you've known this whole time! <laughs> That's that! <laughs> I can't oh, even man. look at you now, Dad! That seems like fucking something. I just like something that would be on River City. I know, mate. I, I'm writing it down, mate. It's going in next week's ep, man. Oh, <laughs> turn it out with the rest of your family. Did you just know about this? <laughs> Turning out the cousin you don't like that. Of course you fucking knew, didn't you? Of course you knew. <laughs> it was your fault that you cancelled, wasn't it? Sitting there with a fucking fag up. I know, Chris. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> It is a bit overwhelming, but it's good that it's actually for them, do you know what I mean? I think that's, if you're going to go to a, a country, you know, at least they've got, a kind of, they've got a tidy lifestyle, haven't they, with the past and all that, and the lasagna and stuff, so I think it'll be all right. <laughs> Never mind, you know, you could be going to somewhere like Cyprus, it's warm, but what else you got hey, to do? Hey, that's like, like, well, they've, they've, got, they've got good tatties in Cyprus, uh, Greg, though. That's like, that's like Italian sitting going like that, I mean, he's, he's, the, the Italian boy's made a fucking balls and move got to Scotland, but... Fair play to them, they've got fucking kilts and haggis and all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fair play to them, have you ever tried a tatty scone? <laughs> <laughs> they've got fucking, they've got bread with a funny crust on it and all that, fucking they call it plain bread and all that, you know what I mean? You ever, had a, you ever had a slice of Mother's Pride with Lord Pack? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> and do you know something? See, you there, man, they've, their sausages are fucking square, by the way. Go to the fish on the Mother's Pride. It's amazing. I've got it sewn up. I remember about three, four years ago, sitting with Gredo on a Monday night in the stalls, in the pavilion, and we opened on the Wednesday, right? And he's sitting there, and he still wasn't half the fucking book. He still hadn't learned the panel. And I've got OCD a wee bit, and it was really fucking stressing me out. And he's sitting there, he's doing the news, just sitting laughing, carrying on, and all that. And I'm going, mate, into my, into my own head, I'm going, this cunt's not half the book, man. He's not even learned a script. And now he's sitting, reciting Tam O'Shanter to me. What a fucking mate! What a journey you've been on, cowboy! I do all, all the time, mate. I can, Honestly. I can always, always Honestly. do it. 
Even when I done test drive, man, I had these learns to line. I was learning them fucking in the motor. I got these learns to line. <laughs> what? You what? said that when I was doing test drive, I got these learns to line. <laughs> <laughs> The new technology introduced by a friend of the show, Mark Miller, had a little bit of a hiccup in the nation Saturday. The Pixelot technology is set to track the movement of the ball with automated cameras, but unfortunately it mistook the linesman's baldy head as the ball and <laughs> followed him. Ed, Cali Fissles came against air. Aye, it, it, I think it thought the, 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 the baldy napper, I think it thought was the ball. So it kept flowing. <laughs> is, <laughs> is this on the internet? It is, it is. Uh-huh. Uh, Inverness, the, the guy who's doing obviously Inverness TV, the commentator had to keep apologising because the camera was falling, the blindsman. <laughs> so, wait, so if you're if you're a bald linesman, are you going to have to wear a hat or something like that? When you're... <laughs> I need you're to see not ready to go for the man. game, man. No, but picks you lot of technologies happening today, mate. You're going to put a hat on me or <laughs> They're also on show, right? He pr- promotes shows in energy, right? He's quite good. He's had all his own, own his shows and stuff. Uh, but because of this lockdown, Kieron, um, he started to do, to do like Zoom parties and stuff like that. And then and on Saturday, he asked us if I've all got 10 minutes each, right? So it was me, Sean there, fucking Artie for the singing kettle, Naveed for still game, Mina for still game, Stevie the bookie for still Naveed game, still Ga- game. Gary Mullen, Boy. Gary... What? Sanjeev Kohli, for fuck's sake. Oh, AJ Forever City. Uh, <laughs> fucking, what'd you call him? Uh, Gary Mullen that won stars in your eyes in 1998. <laughs> <laughs> right? Fucking all the best Scottish celebrities, right? But the best it was, right? Me and Sean were on right at the start, and he kept his own for three hours. Three hours, he never let us go. We had to sit through, don't get me wrong, it was it was brilliant, right? Because Artie come on right, and Artie's quite, he's come on and went, Sorry, I don't uh, I don't recognise any of you. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> that? Fucking, are you folks still game? Hi, hi, Artie, hi, Artie. Anyway, he gets the guitar out and fucking he starts to know his songs, but he wouldn't stop you. I like to eat, 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 and I like to eat apples and bananas. I like, and then we're like, oh, that's good, Artie, the next one. Oh, the tatty soup, the tatty soup, the tatty soup, singing for ages. It was did, they do, did they do the, uh, the pirate song? We'll go forwards, backwards, so it's over the, over the Irish. Irish. Well, I requested that one, he fucked it off and sang some other song. But... He's talking about fucking, about his, his granny on the drugs. <laughs> he did, he did. Oh, I can't get my granny off the drugs. <laughs> I mean, we're all just sitting there, like, I couldn't, you stuck it on the gallery view and you could see everything, and I just kept looking at Grado, he's pushing his cell, Darren Connell's pushing his cell, I'm pushing my cell, we must have looked dead ignorant, man, because folk were talking and, but there was a, a, a wee guy that came in. It was like you could come in and you could ask questions, right? But you're meant to like ask your question and then go. But he came, <laughs> he came in to ask his question and he asked his question. I don't know. I think it was for you, Grader. No, it was the, he asked. He asked, I've got a question for me if you still game. Uh, Why did you just show your face in the last episode? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so she answered that, right? Tell him what you done. And Ross went, I think Ross kind of went, Right, okay, well, you can go away and watch the show or, or you can stay in the room if you want. <laughs> he stayed for the full three hours and he kept, he kept, like, at random points, he'd get up and he'd go out to a different room and he'd start, he'd start sparking up roll-ups. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got me, Grado, Sanji, fucking Robin Lang, all these people going for the singing kettle and then just this wee guy in the corner smoking fire. <laughs> <laughs> and they knew. And he stayed for the full... F- <laughs> thank you very much for listening to the best bits of football daft from across the year we're back next week with the best of the guests some brilliant stories from the guests we've had on across the year um, just want to put out a shout um, if you want more content from football daft you can do that at patreon.com forward slash Football Daft. I've got three tiers set up on there. You can get access to the full video version of the podcast. In fact, you can get full access to the video version of this very podcast. And um, on there, you'll get um, 
the Rangers Daft and Celtic Daft bonus podcast. You'll get teammates where we basically ripped it off a of soccer AM and we ask uh, questions of our guests. Really, some brilliant stories, some really funny stuff on there. And you also get the outtakes from the show, which can go on for some time. You get about 20 minutes worth of us talking shite on there. And um, you get loads of other stuff. You all get free football daft t shirt if you sign up to a minimum of four months if you're on the top tier. You get a chance to be a pundit. Loads of stuff up there. So if you're looking to spend some of that Christmas money, get on board. Patreon.com forward slash football daft. And you sign up for a year right now, we'll give you 10% off the full thing. So get on board with our Patreon. Um, and just because it was Christmas, you know, we, we usually give the full video version of the podcast away. But as it's Christmas, we'll put up all the video versions of the podcast right up until the end of November. You can see them now on our YouTube channel, uh, Football Daft. Just type that into YouTube. You'll get all the episodes from the year now on our YouTube. But if you want to see from November onwards, you're going to have to get signed up to the Patreon. So get involved. Check out YouTube. Hope you've had a great Christmas. And like I say, I'll be back with more Football Daft Best Bits next week when we look at the best of the guests. Have yourself a happy new year, and I'll see you in 2021. Audio Frontier.